Whole Jihad Foods, that's what one conservative blogger is calling the grocery chain after it launched a first-of-its-kind promotion. Now, a leaked email regarding the campaign has changed the conversation a bit. Kid Doe shows us it led to some accusations that Whole Foods was caving into pressure from someone on the right. It's Ramadan, and for Muslims, it's a time of fasting and prayer during the day and feasting at night. But for Whole Foods, it's time for damage control. A week ago, they made history by launching an online marketing campaign, the country's first Ramadan promotion by a national chain, touting a new line of halal-certified frozen foods. But it didn't take long for conservative bloggers to accuse Whole Foods of supporting terrorism. The issue reached ahead today with this article from the Houston Press. They got a copy of an internal email making its way around the Texas region that read, in part, we should not highlight Ramadan in signage in our stores, as that could be considered celebrating or promoting Ramadan. The email suggested the company was buckling under pressure from the blogosphere. But later, the company said, Whole Foods Market is not canceling our current halal promotion. We never sent a communication from our headquarters requesting stores take down signs at all. One region reacted by sending out directions to promote halal and not specifically Ramadan after some online negative comments. Local Muslim leaders applauded Whole Foods for not backing down. I appreciate the fact that they stood behind their policy of celebrating diversity, of promoting a campaign of Ramadan and saying that they're not going to give in to this campaign of hate. Whole Foods shoppers agreed. Good for them. It makes me feel proud of them. We all need to do that. And good for Whole Foods. Ramadan is intended to teach Muslims about patience and humility. For Whole Foods, it's about standing firm in its beliefs. Kitto, CBS 5.